Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're going to continue to do some premiere tutorials on the motion graphics side and today I want to talk about creating wedding titles. My intention with this tutorial was to create a wedding type tutorial and the outcome really was something more generic because what I've learned is that Adobe Premiere doesn't have a lot of those capabilities that you would need in a wedding title with like say flowers or any sort of you know calligraphic design and I've done a couple tutorials in After Effects I'll link those in the description with creating wedding titles but what I've learned is that Adobe doesn't really want you to do motion graphics inside of Adobe Premiere they want you to do that inside of After Effects so with this I really wanted to explore what's possible with Adobe Premiere as far as motion graphics go and hopefully you can take away some cool tips from this tutorial on creating a nice title so let's get started uh, what I want to do is go to file new legacy title and we'll click OK and basically from here we will want to type out our text so we'll grab the title tool here and there's usually three titles when it comes to a wedding title you have the name you have some sort of title of it and you have the date so first things first I always want to type out you know the bride and groom's name so I'll come up with something maybe Thomas and for you couple of Thomases that are watching this video yes I picked your name so leave a comment down below <laughs> and also we'll do ampersand uh, Sophie all right, if there's any Sophies watching this video, definitely subscribe to the channel. All right, so let's come here, and first things first, we want to talk about typefaces. So one of my favorite typefaces, when it comes to more wedding type styles, what I like to use is Shelby, which is a typeface which you can download from the Adobe Typekit. If you have the Creative Cloud, you can download Shelby. So first things first, always you know make sure it's going to be the right size. You know how to increase the font size, so make it nice and large because this is the opening title and this is more or less the main title and you see it's a nice script typeface and it looks really good so once that's done you can close out of this and you can drag it to the timeline and so obviously we want to create two more titles but before we do that I want to create the two lines that you see here and I wish you can just do a straight line here in Adobe Premiere that was very easy to do inside of After Effects but here we have to be a little bit more creative so what we can do is click on the new item icon down here and click on color matte and make sure it's the same size as, as your sequence. Click OK. Set it to white. Click OK. And it was fine. We'll bring it to the timeline here. Bring it into your source monitor just by dragging it in there. And we'll grab the four point polygon or the rectangle tool really. And there it is. So what we want to do is decrease the mask feather to zero. And this is where things become a little complicated. You can only select one point at a time. But you're going to have to just drag this down. And kind of create a very nice thin line so you might have to zoom in here and you know maybe it's quicker to do this in Photoshop but I really want to keep this in one program so when you pretty much have a straight line in there and it'll probably make it a little bit thinner than that you might need to stretch it out as well so make sure you select each point in that mask and what's really easy is you can hold down shift on your keyboard and use the arrow keys and you can just move it over one point at a time Okay, so now I have my thin line in here nice and long. I'm going to make sure that this is going to be centered up by going to the X position and just centering this right underneath our text. And that should be good. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Alt on my keyboard and click drag this up here so we have a duplicated layer and bring the duplicated layer right above our title. So it's just kind of box in there nicely, you know, nice and framed. Looks good. And now I can continue to add my titles since I know where the placement is going to be at. So, so what we can do is add a new legacy title by going up to File, New, Legacy Title. And click OK. And of course we'll come here. Maybe we'll just type in Wedding Day. Maybe you want to type in the name of the location or maybe you have, there's a special title for it. Go ahead and type that here. So this is one of the titles I'll be doing. And I want to do more of a modern typeface, so I'm going to use um, Lado or Lado. I never pronounce it correctly. I don't, I'm not going to even attempt it. But what I like about this is that you can have a very nice light typeface with it. And it looks pretty cool. So we can come here. We have it here. So obviously we have it here. We can increase the tracking as well. So it'll make it a little bit more, you know, thin and unique. And center align this from the left side here. And we can bring this down. Bring this into our timeline. And then we can come over here to our project window and we can copy paste it and bring this over here. Come over here as well, open it up, bring this one underneath everything. And we can type in a date. So now we have our design of our titles in here and now all we have to do is animate it. So what we can do is I want to start from the beginning to the end. 
So I want to animate these lines in first. What we're going to do is we're going to go to our effects window. We're going to go to video transitions. We're going to go to slide and we're going to grab split and we're going to apply this to both of the color mats, which are the straight lines. And we play through this. You can see we have just a very nice, you know, transition from the center of everything. And maybe we'll increase the time of effort of the transitions and we'll drag this out be a little bit longer. So now we run through it. We have this very nice transition just like so. And now what I want to do is bring in our titles from the top and bottom here. So, so now what I want to do is bring in our main title from one of the lines here. So we'll grab our main title here. And all we're going to do is we're going to add a keyframe for position. And we'll move this keyframe forward in time. And we'll set the Y position down to about right here. And then we're going to right click this title. And we're going to click on Nest. And let's find, click OK, and then drag it right into your source window. And we're going to grab the rectangle tool. And we're just going to draw this rectangle like this. Make sure that this bottom mask is touching the line, the bottom line here. Boom. And make sure to set the mask feather to zero. And now if we run right through this, our title just comes in like that. Obviously, we might want to speed that up by a touch. Boom. Now we want to animate the other two titles in here. So, so what we can do is use a linear wipe, which is just an effect. So type in linear wipe. And we can bring this on to our main title here, which is wedding day. And we'll want this to come on right here. So we'll add a keyframe for transition completion. Bring this forward in time. Set this to 100%. Increase the feather of it. And we'll need to set the wipe angle to 90 degrees. Negative 90 degrees. Did I say that? Negative 90. Okay. And we run through that. Boom. There's that. Looking good. And then just to make this simple, we'll just copy the linear wipe and we'll paste it right onto our other title. Looks good. And we'll offset the keyframes by a little bit. So, so far, this is kind of what we have. And it's just, it's all good. I want to add just one more motion to this to make this even better. So, what we can do is take all of our layers, select all of it, just click, drag it, right click it, and click on Nest. Click OK, and then bring it here to the source monitor. Go to the first frame, add a keyframe for scale. Move this forward to the end of the animation and set the scale up to about like 115. So now there'll just be a little bit of scaling motion coming in towards us. And if you want to take, say, your video clip as well to add a little bit of parallax to it, we can say zoom out of our video. This is actually just a photo, obviously, but we can just come here and zoom out of it. And this will give it some nice parallax. And you know, they add your music and you're ready to go. And here's what we have after our render as a full screen here. And everything looks good. So like I said, Premiere's not the best for creating wedding type titles. If you want to go over the top, I would create that all in After Effects. And of course, go ahead and check out some of the templates that I linked in the description below. I actually have my own product on wedding titles. So that'll probably be first if you want to check that out. And that will definitely support this channel if you want to purchase that. So I hope you guys found this video somewhat insightful so you can apply it to all types of titles other than just weddings. And if you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to drop a like on this video because it helps me out tremendously. Subscribe to the channel for more Adobe Premiere tutorials. And please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the description of the video. And always be creating.